What's up, my grub lovers? Ready to get their grub on. You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I am jumping in on this Popeye's chicken, man. I haven't had fried chicken in a little minute. So what better place to go to indulge in fried chicken than Popeye's, man? So, came to Popeye's, get me some chicken. And, oh my goodness, I found out something, guys, and I gotta tell you about it. So, Popeye's has double stuffed Oreo bites. In other words, they have fried Oreos. You know, people have to use different names for whatever reason or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But Popeyes has fried Oreos, okay? Fried Oreos, too. So I had to go ahead and get me some. Now, what I will say is, I think the last place that I got fried Oreos from was Sonic's, and they were really, really good. It actually came with ice cream, but it was really delicious. So it kind of opened my eyes to say, you know what, let me try, uh, you know, let me try something different as far as, uh, you know, actually getting these from other places. Because usually, you know what I'm saying, I just make my own, you know what I'm saying? But for some reason, I was like, you know what, let me not do that. Let me not do that this time. You feel me? Let me uh let me try something different. And that's what I did. I was like, I tried something different. And uh you know it worked out. It worked out pretty well for me. So you know y'all see me like, hey, he digging in his bag for man, for everything. I mean I gotta be having to find my food, you feel me? But it be missing. So Sorry about that, y'all. So, yeah, my order was messed up. I'm glad I was checking. They had none of misplaced my damn biscuits. I ain't get the biscuits. You know, you can't go to Popeye's and not get the biscuits, man. Your whole head start hurting now. You know what I'm saying? I don't play by that now. You know, but, yeah, like I said, I came in, man. I was like, you know what? I'm going to jump on this fried chicken. You know, because that's what I was interested in. And then I saw saw these bites man the oreo bites and i was like i didn't even care about the chicken no more all i wanted was these bites and i was like i gotta try these bites and see how they are i gotta let you guys know how they are you know so you guys can try them out when you come out there or you know check them out now, i don't know if every place have them but i'm gonna try them just because i know this place have them okay Okay. That's actually pretty good. I like it. You know, the thing about fried Oreos, man, you gotta do it. You gotta do it right, man. You gotta do it. You can't mess these up. Especially with black people, we'll know. Uh -huh. So, one thing I do like. Is it don't taste like it was fried in some of the same Greeks that they've been using all day. I like that. Cause that was the first thing I was checking for. I'm like, let me check and see. It's just gonna taste taste a little bit like that Louisiana chicken, but it did. So shout out Popeye for that. I ain't gonna lie though. They definitely ain't go low on the price on them. Like two of these, like two fifty. I'm like, ah, I don't got going wrong with that. Like two fifty for two Oreo. It's just so crazy how so much has changed now. You know what I'm saying? How things have gotten so much more expensive. I mean, you know, I'm not that old, but I've seen things shift a little bit, even in my time. You know what I'm mean? saying? It's just crazy. I would have never thought as a kid you'd be paying two fifty for two Oreos. Never. You know, the kids nowadays don't know. I don't even think they be knowing the concept of money. They just want you to buy everything. But when we was younger, man, we had to know the concept of money. We had to know how much this cost, how much this cost what chore was going to get us what you know 
what item from the store, you know, you realize washing the car was the most. You know what I'm saying? You wash the car, you get five dollars. If you had a big van or a, or a truck, like we had a big van, man, so you wash the van, you get ten dollars. But that junk took all day. So you're like, all right, bum. So I can make me fifteen dollars by washing the car in the van. Then you're like, all right, it's two dollars if I clean out the garbage can. So you clean the garbage can, all that, boom, 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 boom. You're like, all right, what else? You ain't getting paid to do the basic stuff. Clean your room, wash the dishes. You ain't getting no money for that. So you had to find ways, man. And to get to the point where you like, man, I can make, you know, 15 to $20 a week just doing this. And as a kid, man, that covered your whole week. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, kid, I'm busting. Boom, 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 boom. The plus side is I was too young. I was old enough to wash and do all that stuff, but I was too young to go to the store by myself. So when I'm making a little money washing cars and stuff like that, I ain't spending it. Because I can't go nowhere by myself to do it. And I'm with my mama. She ain't gonna let me buy all this candy and junk and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So that was the plus side to it. I was able to keep all that, stack my money up or whatever. So, you know, I'm in middle school and stuff, going to high school. And I'm like, all right, man, I got $40 in my pocket. I got $80 in my pocket because I ain't buying nothing. I'm telling you, man, that was money then. You know what I'm saying? And even then, I wasn't into, like, fashion heavy. So I wasn't buying Jordans and all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I was... I was real simple, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to make sure I had enough clothes to wear to go to school. I, I was good with that, you know what I'm saying? By the time I got to high school and started working, man, I had so much money, it was crazy. That's when I started buying all the stupid stuff that you can't hold no value with. But it taught me a lot, you know what I'm saying, as far as, like, valuing money from the penny to the dollar, you know what I'm saying? So it's crazy how little things like going to a store buying two big cookies for, for a nickel you know what I'm saying? How that will open your eyes versus now. People go to the store, they just grab cookies. They don't even look at the price. You know what I'm saying? Times change. But I like the fact that when you can go somewhere, and through all the times change, you can still find something that remains the same. Wild Oreo. So, shout out to you, Popeye. You did it with this one. So, if you guys ever get near Popeye, man, stop by. Get a double stuffed Oreo bite. You won't regret it. You're hearing it first here from your boy, Mr. Grub, okay? Until next time, you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.